So you've heard me use this phrase before, the fastest adoption of technology in all history was crypto, blockchain technology. ChatGPT went from zero to 100 million users in a month. Okay, so, so now we've got AI that is like a virus. It is so unstoppable. And we've got two or three different people building it at scale, Google, Amazon, Microsoft with OpenAI, and then Stability AI is an open source network AI, which is almost unstoppable because it's doubly viral. Because you've got so this is going on. The computational power is exploding. The cost of compute is going down, and what it means is that AI becomes more and more powerful. So if you listen to Mo Gordat, and he knows because he ran Google X where a lot of this has been incubated, they discovered DeepMind. They were the people really to build out the the, the large language models. Um, he says, well, right now, specific AI is better at humans in almost everything it does. So specific AI has a better result set than any radiologist on Earth. And just for people that don't know, specific AI or narrow AI is it's one task. Go get good at reading an x-ray. Go get good at playing chess, playing Go, whatever. Correct. So, okay, fine. They think that, Mo Gordat thinks that by the end of this decade, AGI, so that's a generalist AI. So like humans or ch chat GPT is a general, is a general can navigate um, a grocery store you can play chess you can play in the markets uh guess what yeah. the weather's so going to be like pointed at anything anything you know like, like, like i could ask you a question you can ask me a question so he thinks that with the computational power and the progression of where this is going that it's almost certain that by the end of this decade we get to the point where ai is smarter than humans now we don't really worry about that because we already think it's smarter than us at doing certain things, and soon it'll be smarter than us at driving cars, and it already smarter us at flying planes. We just kind of take it for granted. We don't see it. Mm. But then if you get to the Ray Kurzweil singularity point, so and Mo Gordat says, okay, here's the really big problem, and this is exactly what Noah Harari says as well, is when you take it, extrapolate it a little bit further out into the future, so Ray Kurzweil singularity moment is 2049. But even before then, it becomes a thousand times smarter than the smartest person who ever lived. Yeah, I want to linger on that for a second. So I was, I'm was i writing a video article, it's probably the right way to think about this, on AI. And so I ran the math. A moron is clinically defined as somebody with an IQ of 70. Einstein had an IQ of 160. And the smartest person to ever be recorded is 210. So that means that the difference between the smartest person that ever lived and a moron is 3x. The difference between Einstein and a moron is 2.3x. And when you think about Einstein gave us insights that created the nuclear bomb, nuclear power, lasers, GPS, so much of the modern world that we take for granted from one series of insights from a guy that isn't even the smartest guy that ever lived. And so now <laughs> when you start talking about being, if 2.3 X gets us the modern world, what does a thousand times get us? Like I have the chills. I don't think people understand the orders of magnitude that we're talking about. No, they, 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 well, the order of magnitude was explained by Mo Gordat. It's the difference between an ant and Einstein. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it really does become an entirely different species. This is the problem. There's a lot of unintended consequences that I hadn't realized because we're all having this debate, right? Is it going to take over humans or not? And I spoke to somebody at Google X and they're like, what we're worried about, I'm like, yeah, tell me, is like, we're worried about how AI can be used for genetic modification and how yes. fast this is going to move. It's like, we're not worried about that stuff because everybody's worried about that stuff. But it is advancing so fast in human genome analysis and tinkering of genomes that he said, we're worried that you could just choose, I want to kill all brown-eyed people on Earth. 
and create a virus that does it. So that is the problem with AI, is there are things that the computational power is so fast and so big that it can do a lot of things for science, which is amazing. For humans, you know, we will we will use AI to probably cure most forms of cancer or figure out, you know, part of the the secret code to life, longevity, health, all of these things. Amazing. But we will also use it to destroy ourselves because we're humans. And that's what they're worried about. Because it's so prolific that it's actually not that difficult. There was a very funny and the who whatever brilliant Twitter user this was, my apologies for not paying attention. I didn't know it was going to stick with me as much, but somebody put in the comments regarding our just inability to stop developing AI. They said, great filter, go burr. And uh, for people that don't know what the great filter is, it's like, why are there no aliens trying to contact us? And the one potential punchline is that there's a great filter, could be AI, could be thermonuclear war, but that yeah, just nobody can get past it. And so every society goes so far and then stops. Here's another interesting idea along that, which God, so for people that know Graham Hancock, who just really believes that there was a, an ancient civilization far older than we think, uh, and that it, it got obliterated. This was the fingerprints of the God's out. book. Think well, he's print. written a bunch of books on this, oh, but right. the, the most recent thing was called Ancient Apocalypse. So he's been writing about it for, I don't know, 30 years or something. His books are fascinating. Uh, and he he so plants that initial seed. And then I, again, I don't know who said this. This was relayed to me by one of my employees who was pulling wisdom from Twitter. Uh, and he said, it is entirely possible that AI really is the uh, great filter go burr and that we have developed AI before. And every time we get to the point where AI takes over, much like in the matrix, we end up uh, relying on something in, in that movie, they black in the sky. But in reality, if, if technology rises, AI robots take over, it could be a massive solar flare that ends up then just obliterating AI and all the technology. And then we come up as a civilization worshiping a sun god again. Because it was like, you killed the fucking machines. Thank you. Uh, and I thought, oh my God, like probably not true. 